Modern paganism is living together with the land that you live on. So let's take a look at that definition. Modern paganism is living together with the land that you live on. First of all, living together. That implies a symbiotic relationship to everything that surrounds you. You have multiple symbiotic relationships, even um, to the extremes like predatory behavior or predation and uh, parasitism. But you also have to the other side of the more peaceful or positive relationships, you have commensalism and mutualism. Modern paganism will need a mutualistic ethics. And we will discuss that in um, another video, in other works even, that I will do. Um, I'm writing a book on it. So for now, that, that remains an unfinished project. But the living together part is just that. It is symbiotically living together with everything that surrounds us. The trees, the plants, the soil, the rain, the wind, the animals the plants, the fauna and the flora, everything that is out there we are in relationship to and in connection with. This doesn't imply that we always need to think first about those things or those organisms. It just implies simply that we live together with them. This is a huge impact if you compare paganism to a more um, modern or capitalistic way of thinking, we don't live together with these things. They say that humans are above everything else, so we don't live together with them, we live above them and they are in, um, in service to us. Paganism will break that and say no, we live together with them, alongside them, next to them. We don't stand above them, we're not more important than them. We just live together with them. And what this does is, if you, take a, uh, if you take a look at, for example, predation, which is basically murder, not everything in life will bring you happiness or a peaceful existence or um, a peace and love like the hippies or whatever. It's not that simple. But we are part of a story that is being told with us while we are alive and this doesn't always imply positive things but the negative things are also there to keep us in the here and the now and to remind us not to take life for granted living together with the land that you live on now what is the land now i will make another video on the word nature um, i do not use that term and I'll explain that in another video. Basically, uh, nature is a term that comes out of our culture and it sets uh, nature a part of culture and it's, it's a whole weird um, philosophy that surrounds that and um, I break with that. But what is the land? Well, the land is what we have um, been talking about in the living together. We live together with the land. The land is the things that surround us, the things that we literally can see. Not, for example, from a European uh, standpoint, we don't live together with African uh, trees or African soils or African animals. Um, we don't live together with the, the American tornadoes. We don't know anything about the Asian mountains. We live together with what really surrounds us, with the land that is surrounding us. What is also important to say about the land is that if you live together with the land that you live on, you break with the necessity of a god or even gods. A modern paganism, for me, is an atheistic one. We have no need for idols or gods and even when gods are representations of natural phenomena we can just call them natural phenomena we just can call them the land um, or the wind or the trees or whatever or the soil let's use the land as a passepartout for the things that is surrounding us and while we are 
treading on that land while we are stepping into that land we can view the things and call them by what they are well that's an oak tree I like walking in the forest I like walking next to the sea on the beach we don't have to say I like being in nature call the things what they are that's a kind of a Harry Potter thing living together with the land you live on this has a huge implication it's about you where do you live not your ancestors not your parents not your grandparents not your friends not your enemies where do you live the entire world has a migratory history but that doesn't mean that we always need to stay mentally in our old land do not focus on your ancestors because a modern paganism is living together with the land you live on not living together with the land that your ancestors lived on why because you can't select your ancestors all of your ancestors are your ancestors some of them lived in Africa still some of them migrated to Egypt some of them migrated to the Caucasus region then they came to Europe whatever not everyone of your ancestors came from one single place so stop that shit and focus on where you live the greatest rapper of all time used to say it's not where you're from it's where you are at Rakim living together with the land that you live on what does live on means well I already made a video on a modern pagan lifestyle to live goes beyond culture or cultural boundaries and it just simply means that what are you doing in your life a lifestyle what are you living with we can also see the land that we live on as one groundwork we are living together with the land that we live on it's a relation and so a pagan philosophy will have to have a, rel a relationalistic philosophy and a relationalistic ethics we might also see our definition of modern paganism living together with the land that you live on as a synonym for symbiotic relationship to the here and now we have a symbiotic relationship to the here and now we are here and now not in our past not in our future not in some other country we are here and now and what is surrounding us we are living together with it it's just that simple really but it's quite difficult for a modern or a capitalistic people to look at this at it this way but this symbiotic relationship is necessary for it to be pagan because without it it becomes a transcendental mysticism over some god or something we we are connecting to some god or um, we are forming a perfect oneness with uh, some god or even the universe without it reflecting on our relationship to our milieu we have to give back to the cycle because we also take from the cycle and we need that as a narrative as well because without it it becomes just a simple atheism and I'm an atheist by the way and I'll explain it in another video but it becomes a simple atheism without a narrative and then we will try to search for things to cling to we'll search for a, a story to believe in and so it automatically becomes either religion or what we have now economy we are believing in the god of the economy and we have no narrative it is just economy working for the economy making the economy better and by doing so we are destroying the planet so we are searching for a false connection um, Marx would call it an, uh, an fremdung it's an, uh, it's an estrangement, an impoverishment to what is real, to what is out there, to the land as we have discussed so how do we live in a reflexive or a returning lifestyle and I've already made another video on that and will make more videos on it but it basically means don't focus too much on culture 
Culture is not your friend. Focus on your food. Focus on what is next to you. Focus on where your food comes from. It might be from the garden. It might be from a local farmer. Focus on that. Focus on making your own clothes. Focus on um, making your own art. Focus on your own skills. So if we really want to live like our ancestors, we got to go out there and make our own food, dance around the fire, learn how to make fire, make our own art, make our own clothes, live in the here and now, along with all the organisms that are directly surrounding us, and give back to that cycle. That's what it means to be pagan. And so a modern paganism is living together with the land that we live on.